This is a Firelander Cascadia 2018, the model with a DG15 engine. And what we are doing today is swapping a thermo activated fan, which is this one right here. So, for in fact, this Cascadia had this big ass fan. Um, it is a thermo clutch, a viscous clutch in here. Then, uh, if you don't know how this fan works, this works with temperature, so the heat from the radiator is going to start warming this aluminum component here. And based on the temperature, the viscous clutch is going to apply pressure, little by little, moving the whole fan at one specific speed, or releasing it to reduce the speed. So these fans right here can be classified as a variable speed. So it can, vary, it can vary the speed of the fan depending on the temperature. So when it's cold, it's gonna activate because it needs some speed to actually start deactivating the fan. And then when it's warm, it's gonna maintain a specific temperature to a specific uh, speed on the fan. And then when it is uh, over the road, it's going to work in a different speed. So this fan is a very old school type of fan that used to be installed on cars trucks and many other applications and this 2018 truck still had it but this is not just a regular fan it comes with a speed sensor uh, this determines the speed of the actual shaft on what this the fan is rotating so as you can see see this one rotates completely free so that means that it has a bearing in here and a shaft, and the shaft is the one that sends the movement of the whole fan. And then this one has a different speed right here. So, so well, this is a, it, there is a big explanation on how this type of fan works, but the problem with these type of fans is that they're very laggy. Sometimes they don't cool enough. They are going to let the engine overheat, and that will cause so many issues with the engine overheating especially on the D15 engines. So what we are doing is uh, swapping for a conventional fan. This is what we have done on this um, Cascadia. It has a conventional clutch um, and it is a air activated fan. Um, it, it is the conventional type you're gonna find most application, most high wheel applications. And uh, this is a 2010 truck, and it has the same type of fan. See the close activated air and, and, uh, and a close activation. And we have another 2018. Uh, this is a 2018. And, and that one still has this, the close activation with air. As you can see. So, help me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, to do this job, to do this job, there is many things we have to do, and today I'm going to show you some of the things we have done so far. So, to swap this fan for the conventional type, uh, we need the fan, the actual clutch, uh, and the hub. Uh, so their components. If you know, if you don't know what is that, so I have a fan right here. This is a fan. This is the hub, right? This is the clutch, and that is the actual fan. The actual is gonna pull. So this is out of that. Uh, this is out of this truck. But anyway, this is the fan with the blades and everything. This is what is gonna pull the air. So you need this. You need the clutch and you need the hub the belt and everything else is going to be the same that's to start the job now to continue the job we need different components but i want to do a separate video on that because uh we are still in the process of doing so other components we need to do this job is uh the solenoid the fan clutch solenoid so in this case for cascadias of uh this 2018 so the fan clutch solenoid was located in here in this area right here and it needs air, and the air comes from this line over here, that one right here. This um, yellow uh, fitting right here is the one that uh, um, 
sends the air to the solenoid and the solenoid, this is the hose that is going to go to the solenoid and we need this from the solenoid right here and this is going to send the pressure to the solenoid to activate the fan or deactivate the fan depending on the conditions also what we also need is to work on the plug this plug right here we have to work on the wiring because the activation the fan activation comes from the uh, mcm which is the engine computer which is located in there um, this plug is the one then carries the power to the fan so we need to rewire this plug and after we do rewire that plug to the solenoid we have to program the truck because the computer is programmed to work without a solenoid so the computer doesn't register any solenoid so now we have to go with the ddl software and program that but i want to show you on a different video all that process in this case i'm just telling you details on what you have to do so um it is a kind of like expensive job to do but it is better um, in a way then it can maintain temperatures better than the regular viscous fan the viscous fan it doesn't it works nice when it's new but when it gets older as this truck i think being even i believe it has uh let me see what's the mileage hold on it has 600,000 miles on the other meter so it, it has some mileage in it so it is normal then parts components start to fail because it's getting older um so the whole point of doing this job is to maintain the temperature it is not necessary this video is just to show you if you in case wonder if you want to do this because in some cases you you wonder yourself is it possible to swap one component to another component in this case um, thermo activated fan or a viscous fan to a regular clutch and air pressure fan yes it is possible and that's what we're doing but it is not just to swap components you need more than that because you need to compose you need the the actual devices then control the system and the solenoid which i have here um, yeah so here is the solenoid this is the fan solenoid that i need for that to activate the fan and we, we need the plug then it's going to connect to the solenoid and this we need to send the wire into the other plug i i told you about the plug then comes from the uh, from the ncm and that is going to uh, control the fan open and close solenoid which is this one um, and it's still i um, it's still there is more to more to add to that but in this case i'm showing you the components that you need uh, what else let me think about what else is going to be good for you um, so um, in this case another thing another important uh, part of this uh, swap uh, fan swap the plug right here this plug connects to the to the fan to the viscous fan so this plug is no longer needed so you can leave it hanging hanging here it won't affect anything because after programming the system it will not need this plug anymore um, and also uh, the fan the fan the, the tensioner and the fan belt are going to be the same for both uh, hubs so you don't need it um, you don't need to waste any time come on come on come on Hey, I just put the hose, the new hose. I came from the restroom right now. Someone destroyed that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go. <laughs> no, I did it. Okay. I, I seen it. I seen it too. That, that, that. Okay, this is a video about trucks. It's not oh, about yeah, yeah, okay. going to the restroom. <laughs> he really, he really had it. He's guilty, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the hose. Put a new hose. Okay, 
whatever. Um, right. So <laughs> here is just a little uh, talk about about this, about replacing the fan. Um, the mechanical, I mean, the replacement labor is pretty simple. Remove the fan, remove the blades, remove everything, pull the hub completely, plug the new the new uh, the new hub. If it's exactly the way, if it's with the other hub, which is the viscous fan, the viscous hub, and the regular fan clutch with the air uh, activation, uh, they, they they fit the same way. You don't have to do any modifications to the engine block or to the or to the um, the body of the of the hub of the fan. And once you're done doing that, uh, it's pretty much putting all the components together and then do the programming, which that will be a different video showing you how to program it. Um, and probably not with specific details, but with enough details, you need to actually understand how it's like. But uh, up to right now, this is all I'm going to be showing you about this and expect the next video, which um, is going to show you the next step on how it's like to continue on programming the function, how it's gonna work. I wanna show you working on off and off. Um, I believe I have a video, I don't have a video with this truck and the old fan, I think has some videos, but I'll try to cover that um, uh, with other videos I have because I, I've been working in this truck for a while. But I don't have the fan activation video on this with the original fan, but you will get the point on how different it is. Anyway. I hope you like this video, so subscribe to the channel, look for me on Instagram, Francisco Maya YouTube, and thank you for watching. No more talking about restaurants, G. Hey, it's good looking back. Especially going on in that fucking yard. Yo, hey, I was trying to talk, bro, and I, I went and go eat a popcorn. <coughs> you know how, like, popcorn. Uh, I told you, because. Did you see the bathroom, oh, though? Did you see it? I thought I thought you were talking about. Uh, all right, I'll, 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 I'll take a film of it. All right. All right. <laughs>